Good morning everybody and once again welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I want to show you how to leverage AWS CloudWatch matrix with your glue hoodie job which is pushing data into either your bronze, silver or gold zone. Matrix are vital for optimizing data workflow, offering insights into system performance and enabling you to make informed decision. This video focuses on how to use AWS Glue 4.0 with Hoodie 0.14.0 and leverage CloudWatch Matrix. So without wasting any further time, let's begin the setup guide. In situation, if I miss out any steps, I do have a readme page on GitHub which shows all the steps uh, you know, listed on this particular uh, blog post. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to download the jar file. We need three jar files that we uh, wanna use the reason being is see the glue 4.0 if you're using data lake format as hoodie it's going to be using an older version of hoodie so by providing jar we want to use the latest version of hoodie so for this we will be using uh, hoodie hyphen spark 3.3 hyphen bundle underscore 2.12 hyphen 0.14.0 jar this is the jar that we will use which will allow us to use the record level index the next jar file we want to use spark hyphen avro underscore 2.13 hyphen 3.3.0 jar and the last jar that we need to use is hoodie hyphen aws hyphen bundle hyphen 0.14.0 jar click on this link and you will see that the jar file has been downloaded on your computer so make sure to download all the three jar files from here next step we need to upload these jar on s3 so come to your s3 bucket click on create folder and name this folder as jar Scroll down and click on create folder. Once the folder has been created, go to the folder and now basically what you want to do is you want to drag all the three jar files over here. Simply drag and drop, scroll down, click on upload and this will usually take about couple of minutes. So I will pause the video once this jar are complete. So the jar files have been uploaded as you can see I do have all the three jar files on my S3. Now navigate to AWS Glue and now what we need to do is we're going to copy this sample script. We're going to copy this, remove everything and paste it. And then we'll scroll up and here you should see a placeholder for the buckets name on line number 55. So what I will do is I'll simply come, I'll come in here to this bucket. I will copy the name and paste that over here. Remove the white space. I click on save. Now, so you have a sample job and let's review the configuration over here. So let me go back to my GitHub. So here you can see uh, we are using a uh, couple of uh, flags, which is hoodie.matrix.on, which is set to true. This allows hoodie to publish matrix. And now you also need to tell where does hoodie have to publish it, right? So uh, we're going to use hoodie.matrix.reporter.type and we're going to set that value to CloudWatch. And of course, we are using the index type to be record level index. We create a faker, we are using faker, we generate a sample Spark data frame object, and then we are doing an overwrite on the hoodie table. Simple, right? All right. So now, once you have done that, uh, come to your job, come to job details, uh, make sure the type is Spark, make sure the glue version is 4.0, and then come down, and you will see over here dependent jar path. You need to upload those three jar file that you uploaded on S3, right? So you need to provide the path. So the way you will do that, uh, let me just bring this one here. Okay, here. Here you can see the path of a jar, right? So you have to provide the comma separated value for the jar path. So this is my first jar path, hoodie, AWS bundle, right? The second jar path and the third jar path. So copy this. Come here, paste this one over here, click on save. After that, uh, this job needs a library called Faker. So we're gonna provide that by a flag, by using additional Python modules, a flag, and the value can be set to Faker. Click on save. Now, uh, that's it. Now the job has been configured. Now what we will do is I'm gonna run the job. So let me run the job. So I have started the job and now the job is in the running state. Uh, looks like the glue job was successful and we were able to write about 10 records into the hoodie table, right? Now, let's uh, learn how to grab the matrix, right? So go to CloudWatch, 
and then uh, under matrix you will see all matrix okay and then uh, here you will see the browse icon okay and here you want to start by searching the word hoodie uh, here you should see hoodie hyphen matrix type table uh, you there are about 94 of them click on this one and now here you can start filtering right so for example i'm interested in matrix uh, hoodie matrix for table name employees right and now i can start narrowing down so let's say i'm interested in uh, i mean I'm, I'm interested in seeing how many total uh, you know records or 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 were written into the hoodie tables right so here you can see all the different matrix that are available right so now let's see if i can find this one total absurd time is there uh, total records written i think i'm interested in this one so i'll click on this again and then uh, let's try to graph with sql and if i now minimize this it's a little hard to see but you see a dot right uh, hopefully uh, if i can zoom in here you can see this dot so that's your matrix right it shows that about 10 records were written right uh, you can come here of course you can play with uh, a different uh, chart types like gauge or, or number or, or bar chart etc so you see how easily you can capture matrix and you can visualize them right now also if needed right so what i want to say like let's say for this table you know what's the workload like you know like let's say on an average you're getting about 100 to 200 now tomorrow suddenly if there are like 10,000 records coming in you know something is wrong something is off right so you can set up alerts as well so similarly you can come to graph matrix and then you can click click here and then you can see this bell icon you can simply click here right that's your query uh, period you can choose the period over here and then you can say hey if the threshold is greater than A, B, C, D, uh, send an alert or do something, right? So hopefully this guide was useful uh, and that's all I have for the video. So I hope you have enjoyed the guide and I hope now this will help you to integrate CloudWatch, uh, CloudWatch into your CloudWatch matrix basically with your glue jobs, right? So that's all I have. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next video. Thank you guys.